Hi there. Um, I've been running some sort of preliminary testing uh, on the SDR Play RSP DX SDR versus the ELAD FDM Duo, which, well, at least in my experience, is one of the reference SDR receivers and has been over the past sort of few years. Um, I've already recorded a couple of what I would describe as difficult signals on medium wave. They're both transatlantic and um, they're coming soon. Uh, in fact, by the time you see this, uh, I may have already published them, but I thought I'd have a look at the writer in the basement of AM Broadcasting. So uh, the first broadcast station as such is Antenna Satellite 153 kilohertz from Brazov, Romania. And this is the signal um, on the EVAD. And if we actually look at it on the computer via the software, we'll just turn it down. Um, so essentially what you've got is a signal on 153 kilohertz that's about S9 on the EVAD uh, and the, the FDM SW2 software uh, demonstrates that. Um, the signal on the ELAD is peaking at about minus 69, minus 70 dBs, uh, which again you can see here, um, and about S, well, peaking S9 on the S meter uh, on the ELAD. Um, and then if we look at the uh, RSPDX, um, this is in HDR mode, so if you look here, um, long wave button is engaged, which puts the receiver in high dynamic range mode, which is what you want. And we've got a signal that's actually peaking. The, peak, the signal itself, the strength is slightly lower. It's, it's, it's pretty consistent at around minus 72. Um, now, the way that the... Uh, the software uh, calculates the signal strength and the signal noise for that matter um, may differ may differ between the SDR play product and the EDAD product. So this, the, you know, the delta minus sort of 6970 to minus 7172 dBs in, in, in signal strength could be just a function of that. Um, and if you look at the S meter, it's pretty consistent. It's right on S9, which is kind of, what the ELAD is also saying, um, if we listen to this signal, audio bandwidth filter is about four and a half kilohertz. So I'll just give you an example of the volume, of the, turn the volume up and give you an example of the audio. So you get an idea. Let's turn up the volume on the E lad. So, you know, there you go, you get the idea. Um, obviously with the ELAD you get the option of standalone. But, you know, what are the conclusions here? Well, I'll have a look at another couple of, uh, another couple of signals on the long wave, but I think the conclusion is, is that right on the lower end of broadcasting on AM, the, the performance of the RSPDX versus the ELAD FDM Duo is the delta is such that it, it's so small that it makes no difference, I don't think. Um, and the numbers in terms of reported signal strength, I think are probably lost in the noise in terms of whatever algorithms are being used in the software to calculate uh, the sort of signal intensity, etc. Uh, and I know that they're, they're on the um, RSPDX, there's there's, there, there's a, there, there appears to be some sort of discrepancy in terms of signal strength or signal to noise, how that's calculated in HDR mode um, versus the 
versus the sort of standard receiving mode. In fact, in HDR mode, the signal to noise uh, isn't actually displayed as if the signal isn't strong enough uh, for it to be calculated, which I don't understand that because um, the signal itself is, even right now, while I'm talking to you, is still minus 72 dB, something like that. So, um, but in the real world, if you wanted to listen to antenna satellite or on your SDR um, with the RSPDX um, or the ELAD FDM Duo, I think, yeah, it, it, your, your listening experience is going to be the same whichever you listen, whichever, whichever receiver you use. So I think um, right now, I would say that I would argue that there's basically no difference really in performance. Now, I, I'll look at another signal on long wave, maybe a couple, and do another video. But I think for now, um, right, right at the very basement of AM broadcasting, uh, there's no difference in these receivers really in terms of what you can hear. And so in the end, it all boils down to, are you prepared to spend 800 pounds there or thereabouts on an ELAD when you get the same performance minus a, a panel with some controls on it? Um, for a quarter of the price, I think that's basically where it is at the moment. At the moment, you know, the RSPDX it looks to be representing superb value for money. So, uh, you know, that's something to consider. Okay, well, uh, I'll do another video uh, on long wave, but at least one more video just to kind of double check that this very very small negligible delta in performance between these re receivers is consistent across long wave. So, uh, I hope that was interesting and useful. Thanks for watching.